All right, guys, we're back with the screen team on today's talk, 930 KWOC. We've uh, reviewed uh, some very good movies so far. We've reviewed uh, Crazy in Alabama, also Pleasantville, and we're getting ready to uh, review the movie called The Great Debaters. want to give thanks to our sponsors again, uh, Fearless Social, also Popper Bluff Drywall, and Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers. Our final film we're going to review this evening is a movie called The Great Debaters. This movie came out in 2007, and this is actually a biopic uh, movie that was directed and stars Denzel Washington. Who knew that Denzel could... Uh, who could uh, direct. The film was also produced by Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, and uh, the film co-stars Forrest Whitaker. The Great Debaters, tell us about this film, Maisha. Why do you like it? Well, for one, because it, it is based off of a true story. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of guess, factual stories. Okay. Um, but this one particularly was done just so very well. I've always really liked Journey Smollett, Journey Smollett Bell now, as an actress, um, you uh, may remember her. She was Michelle's friend on Full House. Uh, no way, dude. Yes. That's, that's who, awesome. That's who she is. Um, wow. And I absolutely love her as an actress. But more so, this takes place in the 1930s. And things were very, very serious. Um, I love debate. I love when people can have an intelligent, articulate, mm-hmm. fact based argument essentially that's all the debate is and this tiny little bitty college just i mean took took the colleges by storm and these guys were out of uh texas right it was wiley wiley college wiley college and i I don't know it's hard for me to even articulate why i love this movie so much i Mm -hmm. just i recommend everyone watch it and, and basically, Denzel Washington, he is the teacher of the, the debate team, correct? Yes. And he gets the, the, the debate team rolling, and uh, there's four, yeah, I guess four main uh, uh, debaters. Mm-hmm. You've got uh, the one uh, young man, uh, James Farmer Jr., who's like a, like a, do- he's like a Doogie Howser. Yeah. He's, he's 14, he's in college, and he is smart beyond belief. Uh, and then you've got uh, the, the girl that you mentioned, uh, Jury. Journey. Journey uh, Smollett. Um, mm-hmm. She is, uh, I guess, the first girl to be on uh, the uh, Wiley debate team. And then you've got the bad boy. You've got uh, Henry Lowe with an E. Um, he, uh, yeah, make sure to tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, played by Nate Parker. And uh, I think some of the best scenes in the movie are with him and Denzel Washington kind of you know going at each other uh but uh, so you've got these four characters and they are just uh beating everybody's pants off um oh, yeah. debating um a lot of the the colleges in texas and then they get invited to um uh, debate a uh a major university from oklahoma city mm-hmm. and it was a, i guess it was an all-white uh it was college and uh they beat them so that was a huge huge victory for them uh, so the next step is uh, then to go on and uh, face Harvard, and that's the kind of uh, the, the... The culmination of the film. Yeah. But in, in all reality, the Denzel Washington, he was pushing his students so hard because he wanted to debate Harvard. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's, in order to say you are the best, you need to be able to beat the best. And when this happened, when they got to Harvard and they saw that, you know, you had... People weren't acting... It, towards them in the manner that they were in Texas. You it know, was like you night to, and day. It was night and day. You have to yeah. reflect back to the moment when... Here, let me carry your bags for you. Yes. Here's a $5 per diem while you're here. Yeah. Right, and you have to remember, and you go back to the beginning of the movie when James Farmer Jr. sees his father. You know, they he didn't even actually hit the pig when they're driving, and the, and the white gentleman is telling him, well, you owe me $2 for this pig. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he sees his father, who is a lawyer, and he's a respected man of their community. He sees his father kind of tuck and tail and you know it, it was it was a poignant moment for him you know and another moment and when they see the young man they're headed to a debate and they have to turn back around because it's late at night and they see the, the man being lynched and burned and you mm. see all these people just standing around just watching it like it's a, like a movie and <laughs> like it's entertainment basically it, yeah. it's one of those moments when now i watch that movie and i mean i never fail to cry every single time you know because you can't I've never experienced anything like that, but I can only imagine the kind of fear that you would have when you having to hide underneath seats, and this is absolutely for no reason, you know. Because so, of the color of your skin. Yeah, because you can't choose 
what you're born into. You can't choose to be born black or white or purple or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can't choose that. And so to see for them to see something like that, there's a difference in having knowledge that, you know, as he says in Texas, they lynch Negroes, you know, in his, his debate at the end. It's completely different to have the knowledge that they lynch Negroes, but to see it and then see them burning it, it, you know, the body completely burning, oh, it took the falls to the ground, and people just standing around and cheering, it it would have to be like almost a stab to your soul, oh, you know? yeah, no doubt. Because that's where you're living, and, and you have no say-so. It doesn't matter what you do or what you say. You could be a, you know, like he says, what was his crime? You know, and so... This movie speaks to me on a number of levels. I saw when it very first came out, and every time it's on TV, I, I always watch it. Yeah. Um, and I know whenever we have children, I will make sure that they see this movie as well. It's a strong film, and, and even Denzel Washington, he's kind of he's doing double duty here. He he's a he's a teacher of the debate team, but he's yeah. also hi Luke. Did you like the Great Debaters? <laughs> yeah. Was it that good? <laughs> he loved it, if, if you can't tell, man. He loved it. But uh, Denzel, he had double duty. He was uh, the teacher of the debate team, but he was also um, trying to, I guess, form a, a union for the, uh, for, the, the farmers. for the farmers in the particular town, which caused a lot of uh, strife uh, um, you know, with the local law enforcement and, and stuff like that. So Denzel Washington was not a, a, a popular uh, figure among uh, some of the law enforcement folks in there. So there's there's a lot of different avenues and, and uh, plot lines going on. Sabrina, were you a fan? Actually, I was. I, I enjoyed the movie. <clears throat> um, I thought it was well-balanced. Um, you know, it it's hard, as hard as it is for Maisha, um to watch a movie where the the victims in the movie are victimized because of the color of their skin it's as hard for me sometimes to watch a movie where the people victimizing the others are white people and i i feel bad sometimes after watching some of these movies so bad that i'm just like i just want to take a shower you know like that bad i feel dirty really yeah but this movie didn't make me feel dirty it made me respect the content of the movie and the persons highlighted in the movie and their achievements and i felt more proud for them rather than guilty about what some folks did you know so there's a real hard balance in some of these movies that for me to take and i thought this was a movie that i would let my kids watch and that i would feel comfortable getting them some type of education in an in an entertainment format yeah i thought i i enjoyed it and i and i i I appreciated Denzel's performance, and I, I really enjoyed the the student characters as well. And uh, good choice. Thank you. It, it, I definitely recommend that everybody gives this movie at least one watch in mm-hmm. their lifetime. Yeah. And what I thought was interesting was at the very end of the movie, <coughs> they uh, they tell you what happened to each and every one of these characters, and each and every one of those people did amazing things after the after their debate career was over. Man, it was. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Cause like one of them was a you know world renowned poet, and the other one, I, I don't remember offhand. Samantha but. Book, um, that's Journey Smollett, mm-hmm. Bell's character. She went on to become a lawyer, and she was on the first freedom uh, ride with Dr. King. Yeah, there's just so many. I mean, Mr. You, Lowe went on to become uh, go to um, school for theology. You know, so you have to. Take into account his level of anger because he was so he was older than Samantha and he was older than you know Mr. Farmer Jr. He he was older so he had already seen some of these things that they had not quite witnessed. So mm-hmm. he had a level of anger on the inside of him that had it not been for Denzel, who essentially also was almost a father figure to him, and on top of a mentor and a teacher. Yeah. It, who knows where he would have actually ended up? So I it was just well done. Well, well done movie. True, true. It's called The Great Debaters. Maisha, Sabrina, thank you guys for being on the show uh, today. Uh, we'll be back next week at 6 p.m. And uh, we've got your brother on the show, Mr. Kyle. He'll be in the uh, studios, and we're going to be talking about sports. And if there's anybody who knows about sports, it's Mr. Kyle. I hope you've got time. <laughs> We, we might have to stretch it to an hour. <laughs> but we'll be talking about some of the ESPN uh, documentaries. Uh, the first one is uh, one called... Um, 
forgot the name of it. It's about the uh, Russian hockey team who lost to the of Miracles and Men is the name of the of the short. Um, it's um, about the uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Russia. It's about the Ru- Russian hockey team who lost to the U.S. in the 1980 uh, Olympics. Uh, the next film is called The U Part Two, talking about the University of Miami football team. And the last one we're going to review is called um, You Don't Know Boat. It's coming your way next Saturday at 6 p.m. For Maisha, Sabrina, Luke, and Chris, we are the screen team on today's Talk 930 KWOC.